Hey guys, happy Tuesday everybody. So today I wanted to do two quick reviews for you guys. I'm not going to say quick, they're not going to be quick. Um, but I am going to do them in two separate videos just so that people who are only interested in one of the reviews can just watch one of them. So over the last few days I have decided to try a couple of different mattifying products to see if anything could possibly beat my trusted and my tried and true holy grail oil controller, uh, my Philips Milk of Magnesia. Yes, this is the same Philips Milk of Magnesia that is, um, it's a laxative. <laughs> and yes, I put it on my face. Before you think I'm the craziest nutball that you've ever met in your life, um, go check out the reviews on Makeup Alley and YouTube reviews about Milk of Magnesia for oil control. It works. It is the only thing that has worked for me so far. And um, the only reason that I'm trying something different is just to see if someone happens to come out with something that will actually control my oil. So for those of you that are new to my channel or are just coming across this review because you are looking for an in-depth review on the product that I'm about to mention, um, let me tell you a little bit about my skin. It is super, super, super oily. Um, I would say that if I don't use a mattifier of some kind on my skin, within an hour of putting on my makeup, it will slide off of my face. Um, I am just that much of an oil slick. I tend to be oily all over my body. So I have oily hair. I have oily skin on my face. I just... I totally did not look out in the genetics department when it comes to that kind of thing. So for me, it's really important to control that oil because I'm very busy and I don't have time to go into the bathroom every hour, every two hours to blot my face because I'm a shiny mess. So when I put my makeup on in the morning, it needs to stay on and it needs to stay on until like 8, 9, 10, 11 o'clock at night. Um, I have really long work days, so um, that is a necessity for me. So far, the only thing that has worked is the Philips Milk of Magnesia, and it literally keeps me shine free all day long. I can put on my makeup at 6 in the morning, and by 11 o'clock at night when I'm coming home, it is still on my face. My blush, my foundation, everything is still on my face. So this has been a miracle worker for me. Like I said, the only reason that I'm trying some different things is to see if someone somewhere has come out with something that will actually control my oil. Now, for most people, um, the reviews on the products that I'm about to give, they may work for like just someone with oily or combination skin. Um, I'm just saying that my thoughts on these products are only my thoughts on these products. They may work very well for you. So, um, the first one that I'm going to do, and I am going to do these in two separate videos, um, just so that people who are interested in only one of the products can just watch me blabber on about that one product. But first one is the Philosophy Total Matteness, and this is an oil-free mattifying pore eraser. So this is what the box looks like. This says that it's that it targets the three causes of enlarged pores. Um, it uses natural bamboo extract to help immediately absorb excess oil and control shine. Lentil seed extract to help strengthen the pore wall, making the pores tighter and less apparent. And salicylic acid to help uh, remove buildup of dead skin cells around the pore wall and brightening its darkened appearance. So bamboo is, I guess, the main ingredient in here that they are using as the oil absorber. And apparently um, bamboo extract can absorb 200% of its weight in oil making it a natural solution for our approach to shine and pore management. So I have, um, I've heard about this product a lot. Let me show you guys the bottle. And there's some other claims that I'll read to you on the side of the box. You do get one fluid ounce. It is a glass jar. There we go. Sorry, my nails are a hot mess. Um, it is a dropper format, so you basically drop out what you need. And um, so it's a little bit more sanitary in that you're not actually touching the product or anything. So um, it says after one use, 70% of users agreed that pores were noticeably tighter. After four weeks, 88% showed a significant reduction in the appearance of pores, and 93% demonstrated an overall decrease in excess oil and sebum. So 
Anyway, uh, one thing I do want to mention is that this does have a sunburn alert. So this product does contain an alpha hydroxy acid in it. So it is going to increase your sensitivity to the sun. So please make sure that you use an extra SPF when you are using or trying this product out. So I bought this, I think it was two days ago, tried it yesterday, complete failure for me. Like literally it was like as if I put nothing on my skin. Um, I took my brother and my sister-in-law shopping uh, at the outlet malls, not far from my house. And um, I'm not kidding you, we were down there for like an hour and I went into the bathroom and I looked at my face and I was like, oh my God, I look like a hot mess. It was awful. My foundation was literally like streaking on my face. Like it was just lifting up and sliding down. So <laughs> I had to blot that mess up and then try to redistribute my powder foundation and I use the Everyday Minerals Base. So this is the foundation that I choose to use. Um, I only use powder foundations just because they work a little bit better for my oily skin. Um, yeah, God, you guys, this did nothing for me. It was absolutely awful and it was such a huge regret almost instantly. The sales associate at Sephora swore up and down that if nothing had ever worked for me before, this would be the one thing that would work, and it totally did not. I do really like the fact that this does have salicylic acid in it. That works really well with my skin in terms of preventing um, breakouts. I also like the fact that it does have um, the a uh, AHAs, which I think is actually just the salicylic acid. I don't know if there's a different type of AHA in here, but... Um, I do like that because it does help with cell turnover and again it just helps prevent the breakouts. Um, I do like the fact that this stuff didn't have, it doesn't really have a scent of any kind so people who are sensitive to smells you're not going to have an issue with this. I like the delivery system in terms of how sanitary it is to just use the little dropper but this did nothing for my face. I really wish that I had the patience to use this for four weeks, but I can't, you guys. Like, I am so busy in my job. Like, I can't afford to have to go to the bathroom and to blot my face. And I can't look like a hot mess. I'm a wedding planner. Like, I am supposed to look put together and polished, like, from the time that I show up at the wedding to set everything up until the time that I leave at the end of the night. Like, and I can't run to the bathroom every two hours to check my makeup. I just don't have time for that. So as a result, since this did not even perform on the first day for the first hour, I'm totally going to have to return this. This was $40, so it's expensive. Um, if it was somewhere in the $20 range, I think that I would keep it and I would probably actually wear it at night um, just for the salicylic acid benefits. But... I just, I can't do it. I can't justify $40 on this um, when it doesn't do at all what it says it's going to do during the day. So um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that would be helpful for people to know with this product. Um, definitely, obviously, if you have questions, leave me a comment down below. But I really do think that probably someone with combination or just regular oily skin would probably benefit from this. It just did not work for my super, super oily skin. Um, I wish that I would have taken a picture and my sister-in-law was trying to be really nice. She was like, oh no, it looks okay. Like, but I could just tell, like it just, it did not look okay. And I was literally spending the whole day like just putting toilet paper on my face, trying to blot up the mess that had happened here. So. Anyway, I'm sorry to say that this was a total dud for me. I really do like philosophy products. Um, I am a firm believer in the Purity Facial Wash, and I use that all the time. I actually just bought another giant 32-ounce container of it from the Nordstrom. Um, is it the half-yearly sale? Um, so I, I do love philosophy products, and I've used Hope in the Jar and all kinds of other products from them, the micro-delivery wash. Love philosophy but this philosophy was a total failure for me. Um, I mean, if you wanna put more bamboo extract in here, maybe that would help, I don't know. <laughs> it's just not helping my skin. So 
as much as I would love to be one of these um, special users here who sees all of these amazing benefits after just a few weeks of using this product. Oh, sorry, you can't even see that, can you? It's so bright right here. So there you have the claims there. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to be one of those people, so I am taking this back to Sephora today. And um, I'm going to get my money back, and I'm going to stick with this because so far it is still the only thing that works for me. So, And by the way, that the way that I apply this is I always make sure that the cap is tightly on because I've had an issue with that in the past. Then I shake it really well. I pour a little bit into the palm of my hand, and then I just massage it on over my face because I'm oily all over. Wait for it to dry. Buff out any white spots that may appear, and then I just put my foundation on over top. Had my foundation on for about three hours now and there is not an ounce of shine on my face and there you have it. By the way, this is like my summer natural makeup look. I am so not into like putting on a bunch of makeup right now so you're not going to see me heavily made up in my next few videos here. But anyway, this was a dud. It's going back. If you guys have any questions, leave me a comment below and I'll see you in my next video which is a review of the Boots Number no. 7 Beautifully Matte makeup base. So look for this review coming up next. God, I'm sorry. It's so bright. It's awful in here. Anyway, bye guys.